Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your December 2023 general reading. We are looking at the first half of December from the 1st to the 15th, and this reading is for the air sign of Libra. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for being here, for watching these videos. Please hit the like button, uh, share and subscribe as well, but that like button is super important. Thank you, you, th thank you to those of you who do. Um, uh, for those of you who watch the videos, who comment, who reach out for personal readings, who refer and recommend me to others, my gratitude always. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you're cross-watching for Libra in this video is also for you. Of course, general readings may resonate a little differently for everyone in the little details and specifics, although the fundamental energy remains the same. Uh, <clears throat> if you know your other signs, watch those videos as well for any additional insight. And if something really does hit home, if it really resonates with you and you'd like to take a deeper look, uh, or you simply like the reading style, if you're interested in a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can see that contact info by clicking the description of this video. I would love to hear from you. And I can usually respond the same day with all the information. I do offer a pretty wide variety of readings, all different styles, lengths, uh, um, costs, uh, you know, all different areas of life. My brain just went blank there for a minute. Uh, there's something in there for everyone. So if you're interested, email me. And I do readings full time as well. Uh, so I can be pretty diligent about the scheduling of personal readings. Uh, if that's important to you. We are in the holiday season and personal readings do make great gifts. They are a lovely, personal and easy gift to give. And also popular at this time of the year, the six and 12 month overviews that I do, which give you a look ahead six or 12 months, which a lot of people like to do at the end of one year, uh, at the end of the year, you know, as we're transitioning into a new year. So something to keep in mind. Okay, I'm using the Tarot of Dreams, clarifying with the Radiant Rider weight, Libra. We begin with the Seven of Cups. Maybe a little daydreaming, fantasizing, building castles in the sky. Maybe you have multiple options that you're considering, you know. Can also be looking at things through rose-colored glasses. It's not an ent a particularly realistic energy. Doesn't mean it's bad. I mean, you know, it's multiple options and opportunities. It's trying to focus only on the best and brightest of things. Uh, sometimes that's a good thing because that's how we begin to manifest our dreams, right? Sometimes it's not because we're not looking at the work that needs to go into something or the red flags about something, right? So with that Seven of Cups, we have the world, the last major arcana card in the tarot. So a whole cycle of the tarot is ends. This is a card of graduation, right? We've reached the top of the mountain. And so that chapter or set of chapters of our life is done. And we're looking out at a brand new landscape full of different options and opportunities. Looking at a new path, looking at a new journey, considering different options and opportunities. Next, we have the Six of Cups, commonly a card associated with history or nostalgia. People, places, situations we already have a primary connection with. It can go all the way back to childhood, parents, family, culture, traditions, roots of origin, um, childhood friends, or it doesn't have to go back that far. It can also represent looking at something through rose-colored glasses or with the same kind of childlike you know, openness and, and freedom that we had when we were children. Also, sometimes the secondary soulmate card. With the Five of Swords, winning at all costs, um, which always begs the question, are the efforts you're putting into winning, whatever that winning is to you, worth the effort you're putting into it? Sometimes the answer is yes, sometimes it's no. Are you willing to do whatever it takes, even if what it takes is you know, cutting off or separating yourself from people, places, and situations in order to have the thing that you want. Hmm. Next, we have the Knight of Coins, which I actually think your sister sign Gemini got in the same position too. Offers and opportunities, that's what knights represent. This is the Knight of Coins or Pentacles, the Knight of Earth. So it's a pretty solid, stable offer or opportunity coming in. Might be a new job offer. I mean, it could be love and romance too, but it's it has a financial and material, a stable, secure component to it. With oh, the devil. 
perhaps some unhealthy toxic cycles going on I mean the devil isn't always unhealthy or toxic or negative but it often is the only time it's not is if that level of obsessive energy because that's why it usually shows up for addictions and unhealthy relationships because it represents an obsessive level of energy focused into one area until it becomes you know just unhealthy um, this energy can be positive like when you're initially building up a business or you know finishing school or something that you know has a beginning a middle and an end but past a certain point it becomes habit and pattern and that's where it becomes unhealthy from the bottom of the deck for the overall energy we have the four of swords which is a card that represents taking a temporary step back temporary because I mean we have the five of swords here as well and you know when you look at the tarot cards in the chronological order that they come in you know they tell a story right uh, there's some kind of battle right and and you get wounded and there's healings healing you know after that I mean ideally the four of swords is somebody who has been dealing with something they may have been dealing with some kind of pain or challenge issues of some kind and here they're feeling tired we're not exhausted so they're taking a temporary step back to rest recover recuperate themselves recuperate uh, maybe gain some different insight and perspective um, you know they're going to have to put the armor back on and go back out there because you know the next card of course is that five of swords where they go out and they win uh, even though again they're tired they weren't out exhausted maybe wounded you know so the overall theme is kind of taking a temporary step back during this time which I can see a more contemplative reflective energy taking a look at at this this whatever this battle is coming to an end whatever it is you're battling it doesn't have to be an active battle that kind of battle it could just be going through a difficult time or healing from something and considering what the possibilities are moving forward there is an opportunity coming in here as well let's take a look at that overall energy of the four of swords the five of swords again yeah tired of the issue tired of the conflict tired of the fight even with the five of wands internal conflict external conflict conflict within yourself conflict with another person we have a king of wands showing up here leo aries sagittarius sun moon rising venus male or female so yeah you're exhausted maybe just going around with this person going around and around and around the same old thing over and over and over again and never getting kind of any particular results or change and i think that you know at some point this has to end in some way but for just now you're kind of taking a step back to kind of rest and recuperate before you go charge back out there again seven of cups and the world seven of cups the two of cups the world again and the emperor the emperor is probably the same as the king of wands because the king king of wands is leo aries sagittarius and the emperor is also attached to the sign of aries you know somebody who's typically older typically you know they've set up their life they're pretty established they have a lot of you know decision making ability if not the final decision making um they're usually pretty you know well off or comfortable right they're over an entire empire they can be kind of controlling and domineering on their bad days um, and then we have the world and the two of cups the world again that card of kind of endings completions graduation and the two of cups which is that soulmate kindred spirit it may be for some of you that you're looking you're tired of whatever the main issue is with you and this person and it may be that you're considering you know moving on moving forward like looking at um, perhaps ending or ending a relationship breaking up with someone and moving in in a new direction to find someone that you truly feel is your soulmate somebody that will truly honor you um it may be that you feel like this king of wands emperor individual you have this karmic connection and even though you know they may be showing up they may be like not acting like an emperor meaning this person is supposed to be acting like at the very least a king as an emperor you know which implies a certain basic moral and ethical code and it feels like they're not doing that and 
um, and, and you keep going around and around and around the issue. Yeah, so the world, final endings. We have that devil card again. We have the six of pentacles and the ten of wands. This is like, I don't know, breadcrumbing energy. And you're tired of it. You're just so tired and overwhelmed with it. Somebody who is in a position that they could give a lot, but they're only giving a little. And I believe that here, the six of pentacles, which is paying attention to the balance of giving, the balance of resources, right? I feel like this emperor person whether it's your mate um like your partner romantic partner or it could be a boss or it could be a father i don't know there's this sense that you know you keep waiting in an unrealistic way for things to get better when they don't it's like you it i don't know it feels like this emperor is is not being an emperor he's not acting the way an emperor should act and there's a penny pinching or breadcrumb giving it's like just when they think they're going to lose you or you're going to walk away or something they'll, they'll, they'll kind of toss something your way and it'll kind of keep you there and make you hopeful again and I, on and on and on the cycle goes that's kind of what i'm feeling but it's difficult for you to break it feels like there's an attachment or a strong karmic connection six of cups five of swords Six of Cups, Nine of Wands. You know, there's this whole energy here, um, Libra, of exhaustion. Like the Four of Swords, the Ten of Swords. Sorry, the Four of Swords, the, the, nine, of, the nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands. You know, just so tired. I'm tired of this situation. I want to feel like I'm less pressured, less burdened. I want to... It's kind of like... This other person is the emperor and, and you're like the empress, but you're not being treated like that, right? And you're just so tired of it and you want the pressures to be uplifted somehow or the, like too much is expected of you or there's too much burden on you or too much, it's like you're expected to do too much on your own or something. Yeah, look, there's the empress and the seven of cups. I think here you, I mean, we have the Empress, which is the Emperor's natural mate, and the Seven of Cups twice. I think here, Libra, it feels like you're in a relationship, regardless of the nature of relationship, but I think it's romantic for many of you. Uh, and it feels like you're, you kind of vacillate, you kind of go back and forth between you know, this isn't working. It's not working. It hasn't been working in a long time, no matter what. what we just keep, It just keeps going around and around in the same way. But yet, there's this connection, and this connection leads you to sometimes be uh, over-idealistic or unrealistic about the fact that it could change, right? And meanwhile, time passes and time passes and time passes. Let's take a look at this offer or opportunity coming in the Knight of Coins. The King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Showing up as a male could be a female. This can be you. It could be another air sign. Um, I, f I feel like this is somebody else, actually. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. I feel like this is somebody else. The Four of Wands on the Hierophant. This is like marriage. This is, <laughs> this is a traditional marriage combination. Maybe that's what the issue is with this other relationship here is it should be this particular type of relationship and it won't because somebody somebody is not acting like the person they're supposed to act like. And meanwhile, there's another offer or opportunity coming in here that does offer that happy home, stable home, harmony, family, energy. The Hierophant is the tried and true, the traditions, the culture, the protocol. Um, I mean, this is a, a very classic uh, wedding or marriage combination or, you know, what that means to you is what's on offer here. And it feels like it's an offer coming from a completely different place from a completely different person. The devil. The fool, the high priestess, and the five of cups. So... 
this devil card energy is attached to this other person this other relationship and uh, since we have it twice and here with the fool and the high priestess and the five of cups sorrow grief loss regret the high priestess is your intuition trusting that intuition the fool is a brand new path but it, it, you know the fool can also represent literally being foolish and and i feel like that's partly the case here i feel like you know that if you kept going down here and just acting like the fool the seven of cups la 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 everything will be fine and if i just stay or or we're having a really great time a really great you know and he just did this for me or she just did that for me and so you know maybe maybe if i just stay a little bit long i mean i i feel like i feel like you know that it's just not going to work there is some other kind of offer opportunity here. You don't have to read this as love and romance, as offer opportunity. It could be a, a concrete financial material job offer that enables you to move out of a situation that gives you more stability, um, like economically or materially, or it might be just, you know, come be with me. I'll treat you this way. Come be with me. I'll marry you or I'll, I mean, you know, it's a general reading, so these kind of details will vary but the energy fundamentally remains the same there is another offer opportunity coming in and you know this thing is just going to keep going around and around and around so advice guidance feedback from spirit for libra first half of december nine of swords ten of swords yeah it's time to stop future tripping in a, the worst possible negative way about an unknown future and just kind of accept that something has come to an end or something is never going to turn out to be the way that you you think it is what's keeping you there is fear of an unknown future the attachment and fear of an unknown future like the worst happening if you decide to go your own way or or you know choose a different path here but the ten of swords is always about surrendering to the you know sometimes challenging or even painful idea that something it's done i mean it's not going to go anywhere um knight of pentacles ace of cups and ten of pentacles we have the knight of pentacles which is the same as that knight of coins again the heart opening up again could be new love and romance it just could be the beginning of a path to emotional fulfillment and true long-term security and stability that's what's on offer here and it's pretty clearly skewed that spirit is strongly advising you take this other path so I'm going to leave it there, Libra. Those are your messages for the first half of December. I hope they were helpful and useful to you. If they did resonate with you and you'd like to perhaps take a deeper look at something, reach out for a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, um, or you simply like the reading style, email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also see that contact info by clicking the description link, uh, the description of this video. I would be delighted to hear from you and to work with you. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the December mid-month readings. Until then, stay safe and well, and I hope to see you back here again quite soon. Bye-bye.